Okay, so in this video, we will discuss positive powers of matrices. So a question is, can we take powers of a matrix? Can we multiply a matrix a certain number of times with itself? Well first, let's see what condition a matrix must satisfy in order to be able to multiply it with itself. So what if we take an arbitrary m by n matrix, so m rows and n columns, and we ask quite simply, well, how would we define, first of all, a squared? Well, if you think of it, if a was a real number, this would simply be a times a. So naturally, we do the same thing with matrices, and we do a times a. And we ask, well, will this be defined? Well, a is an m by n matrix. And the only way for a times a to be defined is if n equals m. If n is not equal to m, then the multiplication does not exist, and we cannot compute a squared. And so you see, the only way for a squared to exist is for n to equal m, and so to have the same number of rows as we have columns. So we can only take powers of square matrices. So a would have to be a n by n matrix. Okay, well, what if we have a square matrix? Then we're good to go, right? So a squared, of course, is simply a times a. a cubed is going to be naturally a times a times a. a to the 4, naturally a times a times a times a, and so forth. So in general, if you say a to the k, where k is a positive integer, you simply multiply a with itself k times. Let's do a simple example. We'll take a 2 by 2 matrix. So what if we take A to be the matrix, say, 1, 2, negative 3, 1. Well, let's compute A squared, which is simply A times A. So 1, 2, negative 3, 1, times 1, 2, negative 3, 1. And notice that if A is an n by n matrix, and you multiply a with itself, a being a square matrix, the result will also be a square matrix of the same size, n by n. So here a is 2 by 2, so any positive integer power of a will always be a 2 by 2 matrix. So now we have a2. So first row, fix the first row of a, so 1 times 1, 1, plus minus 6, negative 5. 1 times 2, 2, plus 2 times 1, 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Second row, fix the second row of the first matrix. Negative 3 plus negative 3, negative 6. Negative 6 plus 1, negative 5. And so we have a squared. Let's compute a cubed. And now we know that a cubed would be a times a times a. But we don't have to do a times a times a, because if you think of it, well, all we have here is a times a, which is a squared, and we've already found this matrix. So this now boils down to a single multiplication between a and a squared. So 1, 2, negative 3, 1, matrix a, times a squared, negative 5, 4, negative 6, negative 5. Once again, the result is a 2 by 2 matrix. Build the first row by fixing the first row of the first matrix. So we'll get negative 5, negative 12, negative 17, 4, negative 10, negative 6. To construct the second row, pick the second row of the first matrix. So negative 3 times negative 5, 15, minus 6, 9. Negative 12, negative 5, negative 17. And there's a cubed. We could do a4 in the same way. We won't compute it, but just as a side note, we could compute a4 in two different ways. If you think of it, we could do, well, a times a cubed. We have a cubed. Here's matrix a. Or we could also do the square of a squared. We could do a squared 
times itself and we would get a to the fourth. And that's it. This is how you can take powers of any square matrix. You may ask, well, could we make sense possibly of a negative integer power of a matrix? What if we ask for something like this, a to the minus 1, or a to the minus 2, and so forth? And the answer is, we can sometimes make sense of negative integer powers of a matrix, that is a square matrix, but not always. This will be the discussion for future videos. For now, we will restrict ourselves to simply positive integer powers of matrices.